gift that keeps on giving. Tonight on Whole Foods, apologizing to a Montgomery County woman who believes she was discriminated against because she was wearing a hijab. The incident happened a Monday evening in Silver. Yeah, right. I'm I'm very familiar with this area. I spent a lot of time Good. in spring when I'm in D.C., man. That's horse shit. This is the most accepting place. Listen, man. <laughs> horse shit. This, that, what she's saying is horse shit. Discriminated against because she was wearing a hijab. The incident happened a Monday evening in Silver Spring. That's where our Josh Rosenthal is tonight with reaction from the woman and the story. I was so confused and shocked. That's how Buhite Aljabri says she felt Monday right after paying for groceries at her neighborhood Whole Foods in Silver Spring. She says she was singled out by a security guard who accused her of stealing. I gave him the receipt. Thank oh, I thought she was, okay, so she was accused of stealing. I thought she, they were like, you have a hijab on, you can't come in here. Oh, so she's trying to say the reason they accused her of stealing was because, okay, because she had a hijab. And that's what she did. <laughs> guard who accused her of stealing i gave him the receipt thinking he's doing his job just like it's you shop at costco what shocked me is that even though he has the receipt on his hand he keeps insisting that i don't i didn't scan the items he kept yelling in front of people it was so humiliating and so many people around al jabri says she called for help and another employee confirmed she hadn't stolen a thing do you believe that he targeted you because you are a muslim woman wearing a hijab Definitely. He targeted me because the way I dress. Reached for comment, Whole Foods Market sent us a statement. We're truly sorry for the experience Miss Al Jabri had in our store. The individual involved works for a third party and is not a Whole Foods Market team member. His actions were unacceptable, and the store leadership team immediately reported the incident. The individual no longer works in our stores. Okay, so listen. And this is another thing that Glad is different about. Like, in an African country, they wouldn't have gave you all that. Let's just say an African country, they told you all this. If you were to say something other than, great, thanks, I'm glad you handled it. I appreciate how swiftly you handled it. If you said anything other than that, they would take this shit back. They'd be like, oh, well, fuck you then. Gliders, you get to, you get, to get told this and then still bitch. Y'all are just different, man. Comment, Whole Foods Market sent us a statement. We're truly sorry for the experience Miss Al Jabri had in our store. The individual involved works for a third party and is not a Whole Foods Market team member. His actions were unacceptable, and the store leadership team immediately reported the incident. The individual no longer works in our stores. The response from Whole Foods, it falls short of what we're looking for. Zainab <laughs> Chaudhry is the Maryland director for the Council on American Islamic Relations. They're calling for Whole Foods to pull security footage and launch a full transparent investigation. Nobody should ever have to walk into any business and walk out feeling like they've been criminalized and humiliated. And communities of color, our communities, American Muslim communities, typically have become used to this kind of treatment and it's not okay. You're right. It's absolutely terrible, ma'am. Here's a fucking bus ticket back to wherever the fuck you come from. How about that? See, this is what I was talking about earlier. Like, no other people would, like, her country, as her country, they wouldn't even be in this situation to even deal with this. You know what I'm saying? She wouldn't she wouldn't even be talking because it's public. It's, it's outside of the home. <laughs> she wouldn't she wouldn't even be talking. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's like <laughs> if a man said she stole in her country, she'd be putting in put in jail. Yeah, it's just, just on his no, word. She would be missing a, an arm. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, you, you just, y'all get confronted with things. I, I, I got to give y'all a break because y'all get confronted with things that other groups just don't even get confronted with. So you wouldn't even know how we would deal with it because no one would ever say anything like that. <laughs> this apology was fucking thorough. 
We're truly sorry for the experience Ms. Al Jabari had in our store. You lucky if you get that. The individual involved works for a third party and is not a Whole Foods team member. So it wasn't even one of their employees. No, it's some <laughs> poor fucker that works at Whackin' Hut or something. And uh, he's like, yeah, this bitch is stealing something. And she probably did steal something. I've heard some bad stuff about what's going on. Yeah, there's been a with, lot of stealing uh, going on lately. His actions job were... I, I've, I've seen them bitches put whole roasts up their, their little skirts. Yeah, I'm sure she was stealing something, but because because here's the thing, we all live in the world, we all go places, we all rarely ever see, even not even. Well, I'm not even talking about you personally. I'm talking about when was the last time you were in a fucking supermarket and you actually saw a security guard detain someone, and if you've seen it. You can at least admit that it's fucking rare. You almost never fucking see that. Usually when you're in the grocery store, you go around the house, you do your shopping, you go to the thing and you pay and you leave. And you're never going home like, damn, honey, when I was at the store, cop um ran up on this lady and detained her. Like you might see that once or in a lifetime, once every five years. I don't know what the fuck. I mean, not saying that. That's the only happen. reason a police car is at our grocery store is to arrest a shoplifter. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. What I'm saying is that it's not like common for you to see it. You know what I'm saying? For you to be there when it's happening. It could be happening in the next aisle over. It could be happening on the other side of the store. But we don't see these things. It's fucking this shit is just for the for the for the for the for the guy to come up to her and fucking detain her, she had to have been doing something. They don't just walk up on you and fuck with you in stores like that. Especially at the lefty of all lefty grocery stores. And in this community right here, this is a very fucking woke community, man. Reported the incident. But yeah, I knew she would. Soon as soon as I heard this apology, the more thorough the apology, the more the left will tell you go fuck yourself. You know what I'm <laughs> If you give a if you give a shitty apology, they might accept it. But if you grovel and bend over backwards, they're like fuck you. What good enough? <laughs> Al Jabri said, despite being a regular customer, she won't go back into the store again. They could have called me somewhere and say, we suspect, you know, it's our job. We just want to verify, want to check respect in a respectful way, not in a humiliating way in front of everybody. Al Jabri and Chaudhry are also calling on Whole Foods to offer cultural competency training. The staff, they said a big part of why it's so important for them to get the story out there so it doesn't happen. Cultural have competency training. <sighs> God, dog. 